Today we're going to do a transmission fluid pan drain on this 2007 FJ Cruiser. Looking at the transmission from the right side of the car. Here is your overflow plug. This one here is your drain plug. If you look toward the rear of the car, here is your fill plug. You need a 24 millimeter socket to remove the fill plug. Make sure the o-ring came out with the fill plug. Remove the strain plug with the 14 millimeter socket. Make sure you have some sort of catch underneath it. Here it comes. Here's my drain plug. Unfortunately, the ceiling washer fell into my bucket, so I'll have to retrieve that later. This is the automatic transmission fluid that you must use with this Toyota. It's called ATF WS, which stands for World Standard. I bought six quarts to be on the safe side. Third of a bucket came out of that transmission. Replace the drain plug, and then with a five millimeter Allen wrench, remove the overflow plug. If available, use a new crush washer on this drain plug. The overflow plug was a little tight, so I'm gonna use a five millimeter Allen on a socket. We now have the drain plug in, and the overflow is open. We're gonna start filling into the fill hole up here until it starts coming out of the overflow. I'm gonna use this quart and gallon fluid pump in order to get the transmission fluid into the fill hole. Got a steady stream coming out of the overflow. That means we filled it enough for the start of this process. We'll replace that overflow plug now. So far we've put in one and three quarter quarts of automatic transmission fluid. Now it calls for 1.8 quarts more. So that's what we're gonna put in after putting in the overflow plug. After adding an additional 1.8 quarts, replace the fill plug. With the overflow plug, the drain plug, and the refill plug all closed up, we're gonna start the engine, run it through the gears, warm up that transmission, and then open up the overflow. If nothing comes out at that point in time, add another 0.2 quarts and try the overflow again. Continue doing that until you get a trickle from the overflow. Okay, your OBD port, which is right under here. Jumper pins four and 13. Number four and number 13. Use either a open paper clip, or in my case, I've got a little jumper cable. Here's what that looks like with the jumper in place. With your automatic transmission fluid below 86 degrees Fahrenheit, turn your car on. Then switch between all the gears to make sure that transmission fluid has been circulated. And now, Switch between neutral and drive every 1.5 seconds for six seconds until the automatic transmission fluid light turns on. And there you see it, it is on for two seconds. Now we're gonna put it in park and we're gonna let it idle until that automatic transmission oil temperature indicator turns on again. Okay, with this automatic transmission oil temperature on, that means that it's at least 115 degrees Fahrenheit. If that starts flashing, that means it hit 130 degrees Fahrenheit and so you have to stop. So we're now gonna go underneath the car and open up the overflow. A small trickle should come out, but if you're like me and you put a little extra in, wait until it goes down to a trickle before reinstalling the overflow plug. Tighten up the overflow plug and you are all done. 